Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, greetings. I thank Ms. Dongqing, Director General of the Department of International Cooperation, China National Academy of Governance for this invitation to address this symposium themed communication of civilizations and vitality of innovation during the fifth Hongqiao International Economic Forum. Our world has never been as interconnected and interdependent as it is today. While we hold on to our rich identities, beliefs and cultures of our respective civilizations, we also live in a community of nations with shared values and principles for peace, equality, dignity on a healthy planet. Over the past decades, China has embraced waves of globalization by opening its doors to the world and has thereby grown in its role as a vital actor in the community of nations. Globally, the exchange of ideas and knowledge between nations has undeniably accelerated during this period of time. As the result of innovations and technologies, many people have enjoyed more opportunities brought about in part by our increasingly interconnected economies while enhancing their mutual understanding of each other and strengthening our societies. Continued dialogue and exchange demonstrate the potential of international cooperation and solidarity in breaking through barriers to tackle common challenges. The Chinese writer Lu Xun once said, and I quote, hope is like a path in the countryside. Originally, there is nothing but people walk this way again and again and a path appears." End of quote. This hope is urgently needed if we are to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. However, increased polarization is risking further divides amongst different societies and cultures. At the same time, not everybody has benefited from the recent trends in globalization, with many people left behind, particularly those living in developing countries or in vulnerable groups, unable to utilize the innovations that are integral in today's societies. And in recent years, our world has experienced several growing and interconnected challenges, including the COVID-19 pandemic, a climate emergency, conflicts, and rising inequalities and divisions. Our ability to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals and realize the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is clearly under threat. Established 77 years ago, the United Nations has continued to advance the purposes and principles of its founding charter to maintain international peace and security, realize universal human rights, develop friendly relations among nations, achieve international cooperation in solving international problems, to be a center for harmonizing the action of nations in the attainment of these common ends. This is precisely why we emphasize that the 2030 Agenda adopted by the United Nations Member States in 2015 remains our shared path to ensure that we leave no one behind. But inaction, paralysis and closing ourselves off to multilateralism may lead us down a much dimmer path. At the 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly, the United Nations Secretary General Mr. Antonio Guterres addressed these issues in a clarion call to action when he said, and I quote, as fractures deepen and trust evaporates, we need to come together around solutions. People need to see results in their everyday lives or they will lose faith in their governments and institutions and they will lose hope in the future." End of quote. Such solutions can come through debate, dialogue and openness between nations and their people. We must also work to build societies that are truly respectful and inclusive. But nations and all sectors of their societies must come to the table and agree to innovate together if we are to meet the 2030 deadline. This has to be our choice. As China's President, His Excellency Mr. Xi Jinping once said, and I quote, that by setting sail together, we could ride the wind, break the waves and brave the journey of 10,000 miles. Here, the United Nations country team in China that I lead stands ready to support the people and government of China on its national development priorities and international cooperation efforts. And we remain committed to connect, convene, catalyze all relevant stakeholders in this remaining years of this decade of action to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals.
Thank you. 谢谢。